Hello and welcome back to day eight of the 24 days of Pilates. How are you feeling? So today we're going to change things up a bit. We are going to do some side lying work. So we're going to focus on the legs, the hips, the hamstrings, the inner thighs, um, and we're going to be working through a side lying section um, on each side. So it's going to be a really lovely one today um, and we'll do a few stretches at the end as well. Uh, so let's come on to one side. So just coming around and we're just going to warm up with some clams. So when you're laying on your side, it can sometimes help to line up with the back of your mat or, you know, just make sure you're in a nice straight line. You can have the front arm a little bit forwards. You can always support the head, but I don't want you to sort of hang out here and relax. I want you to stay lifted and lengthened on that underneath side. And you want to just make sure that our pelvis is nice and neutral. So you could do a few little pelvic tucks here just to make sure that we are in that neutral. We've got that little pocket, that little tunnel of air underneath the side of the waist that we're laying on. You can even put a little cushion under your head if that feels more comfortable. And then we're going to just take a little clam to start with. So hips on top of each other, heels together. We open and close the knee. We've just got 10 here. And I want you to just think about lengthening that thigh away, maintaining that lifted center. And you've got eight. Breathing out, breathing in. Good, six. Try not to let that pelvis rock back. Keeping the pelvis really stable and still. Finding that lift through the center. Four more, opening into that hip, just warming up through that hip. Three, two, reaching that thigh away. And last one, good. Now we're gonna bring the legs up a little bit higher into the little chair position and we're gonna lift the whole leg up now, not open it. So keeping your thigh parallel and in line, we go up and down, so slightly different to the oyster or the clam, just straight up and down for eight. Okay, so you're gonna keep lengthening, keep that tailbone reaching away, don't be tempted to tuck it under. Good, six, try and keep the foot and knee in line. Five, four, keeping that lift on the underneath side of the waist. It's all the same things. You just have to keep reminding yourself. Last two, now we hold it for one. It's about hip height, flex your foot, kick that leg out, pull it in. Kick it out, pull it in. So it's not a kick where you're sort of like vigorously pressing it away, but you're sort of pressing, reaching, finding that length. You've got seven. I can already feel my hip. This is going to be hard, all this sideline, but we will wet the inner thighs as well. Last five. Finding that length for four. Good. Keep it on that hip height for three. Good. For two, pushing through that heel. And we've got one. Good. Now from here we go up above the hip and down. Up above the hip and down. Keep that length. Eight. Seven. Trying not to drop into that side. Six. Reaching that thigh away. Five. Keep it nice and parallel for me today. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good. Now we're going to come forwards and back. Keeping that foot flexed forwards and back, reaching through that heel for eight, hinging from that hip. Try and focus on the back part of the movement as well. Seven and back, lift and lengthen on the underneath side. Six, good. And five, long neck, long spine. You've got four, we're finding length the whole time. We've got three and finding reach. Two, navel drawing in. Good, you've got one. Now we're gonna hold it back in line and we're gonna point and flex. Just hold in, point and flex, and point, and flex, and point, and flex. Keep going, breathe. Good, four, lovely, keep reaching. You're doing so well. Last one, we hold little tiny movements, 10, nine, up and down, eight, find more length, seven, six, reach it out, five, four, three, find length, two, one, and rest that leg all the way down. Well done. So bring it in, give that hip a little rub, that side of the leg and bottom, and then we're going to bring it in front now. 
You can either hold onto the front of the foot and just anchor that foot down, turning that leg out. That can feel like quite a nice hip. You could also rest your knee on a cushion or a towel in front or just on the floor if that feels okay on that hip. And we're gonna stretch the underneath leg out now and work the inner thigh of the other leg. So keeping lifted. So we haven't really done much side lying um, yet in our challenge. Uh, so if you are doing the challenge, then this is a nice time to do it. If you're just popping in and trying out this routine, then make sure you go and have a little look out at some of the other routines. But it's nice to focus on certain things sometimes to kind of think, right, we're gonna focus on just the, this hip work, this hamstring work, this um, thigh work, but in this sideline position predominantly. Good. And we're gonna keep going for five, lifting three for four, Good, try not to sickle that foot for three, for two, trying to get it nice and high for one. We point the foot, little ups and downs, just 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now flex your foot and point, just like we did on the outer thigh work. Point and flex, you've got eight. You've got seven, keep it high, you've got six. Reach that leg high and lift it. You've got four, you've got three, moving from the ankle joint, two, keeping that thigh lifted. You've got one, and we've got 10 more little reaches, 10, nine, eight, fine, lift on that underneath side, five, four, three, and two, and one, and well done. Good, okay, rest that leg down, let's come up all the way. We're just going to take a couple of stretches. So we're going to bring that top leg over the underneath leg if you can. Just root down through the pelvis, hug that leg in and we'll just take a little stretch here before we do the other side. So lifting tall, finding length, drawing our shoulders away from our ears, breathing in, breathing out. Oh, that feels very nice. And then let's go and repeat those exercises on the other side. So let's come around, finding that lining yourself up, hips and shoulders level, starting with our regular oyster or clam. I don't know why, some people call it oyster, some people call it clam. I feel like you can choose whatever you want, but we're just doing that opening and closing. We're keeping our pelvis completely Level, remember we're not rocking back on this side. Keeping that little tunnel of air under that underneath side. You've got five, four, three, good. Into those hips, you've got two, and you've got one. Well done, bring those legs up. And now the whole leg is gonna lift. So keeping level, lift and lower. Try not to let the foot or the knee go too high. Keep it nice and level. Good, you've got six. Maybe pop that hand on that top hip. Four, three, two. Lengthen that waist, one. Check we're not tucking under. Send those sit bones back, flex the foot and we kick it in line and back. So keep it on that same line of the hip. Good reach that leg away. I like to try and get to that point and then reach a bit more. Good, and reach without locking. Well done, you're lengthening six, squeezing that bottom, resisting. I always like to imagine you've got a heavy boot on your foot here. You've got four, you've got three, finding that lift, you've got two, and you've got one, you hold. Reach it a bit more for me. Can we go up and down? and up above the hip and then back in line with the hip, but not below the hip. Okay, you've got eight, seven, pushing that heel, six, five, four, three, lengthening, two. Well done, you've got one and we come forwards. Keep it flexed and back and we go forwards and back. Well done, pulling up through that hamstring at the back, finding that length, controlling your body the whole time, rooting through that bottom leg, creating length and space. Hinging from that hip, not letting that pelvis move, keeping it at hip height. Two. 
two more. One more, it holds in line, point and flex. Push away. When I flex my foot, I'm gonna reach more. Good. Six, well done. Five, long neck, drop that shoulder down. Three, two, hold for one, and then little ups and downs, just 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, reach, five, reach, four, three, two, and one. And we bring it in. Oh, good job, they just don't get easier. For some reason, you know, it's good though, it's always a challenge, isn't it? So we hold there, or we can take the option of bringing the knee on top of a cushion or something, just resting it down. The other foot is flexed, get it in line, drawing through those lower abs, find that center as we lift and lower through the inner thigh, really at the top of that thigh, there. Good. Lengthen through your waist, find those connections. We've got six. Focusing on these, you know, even though we're working legs and inner thighs and everything, we're not forgetting about our form, our center, our posture. Good, four more here. Okay, hold it there. And then we're going to go point and flex and point and flex and lengthen point and flex and reach and point and flex. Now I think I forgot the pulses. So we're gonna to have to do 20 to make it even to the first side. So let's hold that point and we pulse 20. You can do it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And well done, good job. Let's just come up into that stretch. So coming all the way up, I want you to just take that top leg over the underneath leg, try and ground through your hips for a moment, hugging in with that knee. Now, we were focusing on that side lying. We have got a little finisher coming up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same section from the Energizing Pilates routine uh, earlier on in our challenge. So we're gonna do our Second position lunges, second position squats, sorry, into our lunges and back around to finish off just to really get into our standing work. So we can practice all of that toning, that working, that conditioning and centering that we did in the side lying up now in the standing. So making your way up into your second position, toes point out, heels are in, remember not too wide and we'll start with that Squat, oh, I can feel those inner thighs. So you might feel in those connections even more now. We'll do 10 of these, eight. Bringing that work up to standing, keep that lovely upright spine. You've got six, knees trucking over the toes. Five, four, good, try not to roll it on the feet. Three, two, and hold it there for one. We turn to the side. We come down into that long lunge. That feels like a nice stretch. We're gonna step back into plank. So step it into a plank position. Little bit of core here, squeezing in. Well done, step it back. Good, come up into that lunge. Turn back to the front. Other side, turning. Hands come down. Step it into that plank position for me. Pulling in through that center. Breathe in there. Good, I wonder if anyone would count how many planks we do in the whole 24 days of Pilates. Maybe I'll try and count for you so I can let you know at the end. Okay, we're holding it here for me. We've got 10 little ups and downs, nine, eight, seven, six, lifting tall, five, four, and three, and two, and one, and stretch and release. Well done guys, just bring those legs back towards you. We're gonna cross one leg over and we're just gonna take a little hip stretch. Now if you don't wanna do this in standing, you could always come onto your floor, onto your mat and just take it laying down on your back. It's a little balance test. One leg crosses over, you could always hold onto a wall, something. Really work those hips today, well done. So, let me know how you got on in the comments 
below. Let me know how you're doing. Day eight, coming up, other side. And I'll see you again tomorrow for day nine. So taking a deep breath, grounding into this position. Lovely, and let's stand tall. And you all then shake out those hips. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're feeling good and have a lovely day, rest of your day, or wherever you're at in your day. Take care and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.